Hello, welcome to Rigenix. In this series, we will learn about the uses of C-Sharp Abstract Keyword. Initially, mostly during start of your career, when you read about abstract using abstract class and interface, this all might look useless to you because you cannot implement any method in interface and you cannot create an instance of an abstract class. So the question comes to your mind is why do we need them? However, once you understand that the software keeps changing, especially in agile development environments, you will start appreciating how abstraction can help writing maintainable and flexible code. I have created two videos on this and we will try to answer these questions. Abstract class must be used as base class. Why not to use concrete class as a base class? The another question is, abstract method must be implemented by derived class. Is this just a reminder to derived class or something else is there? This video will answer the first question. Before switching to Visual Studio, let's quickly define what is abstract class and how it is different from concrete class. Please note that the abstract class and polymorphism are related. Abstract class is used to achieve polymorphism in your application. If you have not watched my video on polymorphism, then I strongly recommend you to watch that video after watching this. I have shortly discussed these differences there as well. So, abstract class can have both implemented as well as not implemented methods. As you can see here, Slip is an implemented method which we can also call it as a concrete method whereas eat is not implemented method, it's an abstract method. Hence, we can call abstract class as an incomplete class whereas concrete class is a normal class with all attributes implemented. Abstract class is an special type of class in C-Sharp where it cannot be instantiated. As mentioned earlier, it is an incomplete class hence logically it does not make sense to instantiate. Now, if you try to instantiate it, you will get a compile time error stating cannot create an instance of an abstract class. Abstract class is intended to be used as a base class. It means abstract class are not real business entities. We will look into this in our code. So to conclude the differences, we can say that abstract class has the capability to provide abstraction to our application, which helps us by allowing us to vary the implementation based on our need. If it is confusing to you right now, then please stay with me till the end. I assure you that you will understand the concept very clearly. So let's try to answer the question that I laid down in the beginning. I'm going to take a coffee making example to explain this. Say you have to design a program which can prepare coffee. Let's assume that your coffee making program has to prepare only frothy creamy hot coffee. When you start writing a program for this, you would probably think of the required property and methods. Say to prepare this coffee, you need these ingredients and quantity of these ingredients could be your properties. And there is a method which prepares the coffee. Let's flip to Visual Studio and write the actual class. So, this is a simple class with three properties which are used to prepare the coffee. Let's call this from our client program.cs. So, here we have created a private method prepare coffee which takes the responsibility of calling prepare method of our frothy creamy coffee class. We are calling this method from our main method. Let's run this. So looks like our program prepares the frothy creamy coffee as per our expectation. Now say after some time there is a request to prepare iced coffee as well. It also has certain ingredients and preparation process. Now you have been asked to design that class. With the current design, you have to go ahead and create a new class with lots of code. Definitely there will be code repetitions. You have to make changes to the existing code. All this makes your code not flexible. Let's make the changes and see. So, this class again contains couple of properties. 
where ice quantity is the property which only this class needs and the preparation technique is completely different from our previous coffee. Let's call this Let's change the message. Ice coffee is ready. Let's run it. So we get the expected result. Ice coffee is ready. I hope you realize a bit that rewriting your program to support this new requirement makes your program rigid and not maintainable. On the other hand, Say you just need to write some code to plug this new type of coffee into system, then your program would have been very much flexible and maintainable. Let's implement the right way. Let's create a base class. Now, CoffeeBase describes our required entity in the most abstract way possible. There is a reason why we are using the word abstract. In the real world, there is no coffee base. There are creamy coffee, iced coffee, espresso, etc. Basically, our abstract base class is simply a blueprint which we will later use to create specific coffee classes. Let's implement the coffee base to different types of coffee. Now we don't need these properties. Let's pass it to the base constructor. We don't need this. This is there in the base. Now we have to override this method. Let's make the same change in ice coffee class as well. So now we have a single method prepare coffee which takes our base class and calls the appropriate prepare method. Let's run it. We get the expected result. If we want to prepare our frothy creamy coffee, let's uncomment this and pass this to our prepare coffee method. Now our creamy coffee is ready. Now with this design, introducing a new type of coffee would be quite simple. All you need to do is to create another subclass of coffee base to represent new type of coffee and their preparation method will return coffee based upon requested type of coffee. Let's create one more type of coffee and wrap this up. So our new type of coffee is ready. Let's rename it to Espresso. Let's call it from our client. Let's run it. And Espresso coffee is ready. So to summarize the answer to our question. Abstract class are termed as incomplete class because it can have incomplete abstract method. So suppose if CSAP allows you to create object of this class, then if someone calls the abstract method using the object, then what would happen? There would be no actual implementation of the method to invoke. Abstract classes are not business entity. As you have seen in our example, in reality there is no coffee base. There are coffees like espresso, iced coffee, etc. Mainly abstract classes are there to support polymorphism, also code reusability. That's all for abstract class. 
Make sure you watch abstract method and my polymorphism videos to make the concept more robust. The links are available in the description. I hope you found this video helpful. If it did, then please hit like and subscribe button to see more such contents. Thanks.